Okay, so this is the first episode that's actually going to contain the electronics. And you know, let's get started with all the components we are going to need. Now I've got this schematic uh, written down here. And of course we're going to need the main controller, which is this one. And we're going to need some end stops, ideally. Some uh, stepper motors, of course. And we're going to need the stepper motor drivers. And these drivers convert the steering signal basically from the controller, so the step and direction signal, into the correct uh, currents for the motors. Then of course we are going to need the laser power module, which is this thing here. And I think you may be able to read this. Yeah, input is just about mains and output is 25 kilovolts at 20 milliamps. So it's crazy high voltage, but not a lot of current. So yeah, this is actually what the, well, that's what the um, laser tube is going to need for, well, lasing. Then of course we're going to need the laser tube, which I don't think I've got on this table here, no. And we're going to need the power module, which is this one. Just a normal 240 volt AC to 24 volt um, converter. And the mains is going to uh, go into here. And you can grab 24 volts, 5 volts from here. Of course the com, so the, the ground, basically. And then we're going to need a um, emergency stop. So something like this, you hit it, everything just stops immediately, which is a good idea when you're dealing with mains and high voltage stuff. And another thing that is very useful to have is this. This is like a FIRCD switch. So um, you switch the laser, you put the laser plug in here. So just a normal power plug, like uh, this one here. And if it detects any currents that are missing, so maybe when the current is running through your body, it, this thing will switch off the connection immediately. So with this thing installed, when something goes wrong, you may get a bit of a shock, but it's not gonna kill you. So this is basically a lifesaver, just like this one. So this is basically a must have when you are uh, working with mains electricity and yeah okay well then we're going to need need a little bit uh, of you know cables and connectors and this thing here but i'm not going to go into this oh yeah another thing that we're going to need is this one here it's not in the schematic because it's not part of the main uh main steering or the main controlling thing this is like a LCD display that actually displays what you're going to put in into the laser. So start the start the run or home, stop the laser, test the laser, stuff like this. So what we are going to do right now is mount the main laser controller, the stepper drivers and the 24 volt um, power module onto one plate. So we have like a handy thing that we can just mount to the laser and we don't have this stuff just flying everywhere. Now you might, might ask yourself why not put this thing on the plate as well. And yes, this would be possible. But since this is high frequency and high voltage, this actually may mess the, with, with the controlling electronics in here when you have it very close. You know, through inductance and general stuff you don't want. So it's a good idea to mount this somewhere completely away from the controlling uh, module. So we're going to do that. And of course, these two, uh, these two are going to be mounted uh, somewhere on the frame, so they're not going to be on here. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've got a plate cut out um, on which we can mount these components. And there are a few things to consider when doing that. The first thing, and most important thing, is that, as you can see, the back of the PCB here has exposed um, 
pins basically. And when we just screw it on here, these pins will short out and this will most definitely destroy the whole thing. So we will have to either make some spaces for this so it's that it's mounted not directly on the metal or put a layer in between, like some acrylic or something. This is not an issue with this um, heatsink here because this heatsink is not connected to anything. So it can actually be mounted on here. Same goes with this. This should not be a problem to mount just on here. And we will connect the full ground, so this one here, directly to this metal plate, because this metal plate is also be connected to the chassis of the laser. This means that the whole laser, like the whole chassis, is going to be grounded, so that it's the same potential as you, when you're standing on the ground basically, so that you can't get a shock. Okay, so I've got the holes drilled and tapped. Now I can just remove this protective sheet here. Now this is quite some old acrylic, so it might actually have scratch on. No, that's actually looking pretty damn good. All right, oh, right there. Okay, so let's just Put this onto the sheet metal like this and just screw whoops, that's the wrong way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's definitely on there. And now we're going to mount this. You know, just some normal screws as well. All right, so the holes for the stepper motor drivers are drilled and then we'll just um, screw these down onto the plate. Okay, so I've got all the components mounted. As you can see, that's very sturdy on here. So you can actually take this plate and just move it around and nothing's gonna move. So now I have to do the internal wiring. So. So the internal wiring is basically the wiring between these components. So from these outputs to these inputs and from this to this. And soon as we got this mounted on the laser cutter over there, we can do the external wiring. So basically the wiring between this and the stepper motors and this and the um, emergency stop and stuff like this. And since the wiring is basically just putting cables everywhere, it's quite boring to, well, it's boring to watch. So I'll just spare you the details and return once this is finished. Okay, so I've got the stepper motor drivers hooked up to the main controller board and the 24 volt input to the uh, main power unit. Let's mount this to the laser. So there it is, mounted on the laser. And now we can start hooking up the um, stepper motors. Now because the uh, last linear rail for the y-axis hasn't arrived yet, we can only hook up the x-axis motors, which are of course going to the same stepper motor driver, um, and the z-axis. Alright, so I've got the x-axis motor over here and this one as well hooked up to the driver for the x-axis and the same of course for the z-axis or the table lift basically. So I've got the laser power module hooked up here. It's mounted on the laser chassis and these are the positive, so ca cathode 
and uh, negative, so anode side of the laser tube, or for the laser tube. And these are the ports for the control of this module. And I'll have to hook these up to the main board. So as you can see, I've got the laser power module hooked up to the main board. And now I'm going to be ready for wiring the mains electronics. So wiring the um, main power module up to the laser power module and the emergency switch and so on. So there's one thing I want to say. Uh, I'm not explaining the whole electronics like in exact detail. Like I'm not explaining why these wires are going to which port and so on. And that's because uh, your setup, like when you want to build your own laser cutter, your own setup will most likely differ from this. This is a very old or quite old uh, main board over there. That's something you'd probably not use. You'd probably use Marlin and Rams and an Arduino Mega, probably. But, well, what I'm trying to say is that your your setup will most likely differ, so I won't explain this in detail, because it wouldn't make sense to do this. Okay, so I've hooked up all the electronics to the mains voltage. It's uh, over there. And I've added this power module as well. And that's all a surprise. And we'll see later what this is for. Okay, so I can go ahead and very carefully switch this on. Without touching these wires, of course. And then, if something goes wrong, this shuts it off. Okay, thanks for watching the first episode on this channel uh, regarding major electronics. And the next episodes are going to include wiring up the end stops. Um, so the machine actually knows where the laser head is. And of course we're going to look into this surprise that I told you about a few scenes ago. And yeah, that should actually be it for the electronics. Oh, we'll have to um, hook up the laser tube, of course, to the main uh, power unit. But we will only be able to do that once we get all of the shielding done, because I'm not ready to install a very dangerous laser without any shielding. So this will be one of the last tasks, actually, that will be done. And about this uh, y-axis over here, I'm not sure when the linear rail here will arrive. That may actually take another month. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to hook up the um, stepper motor to this axis. I guess we'll see. Alright, see ya.